And I was just like, <sighs> like almost drowned, but that's okay, you know? Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little bit of a vlog-ish video. <laughs> so recently, my husband and I went to California and not just one city in California, we went all around California and I wanted to share it with you guys. I do have some video footage and pictures and I have a list of all the stuff that we went to and saw. So I typically like these kind of videos so that um, if I am planning a trip to that same spot, then I know what to look out for and how to plan my trip. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, and since fall and Christmas time are my favorite times of year, I have been posting multiple times a week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get started. So I have the entire trip and all the details listed on my phone, so if I keep looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So I literally sat down with my husband and we literally planned day by day exactly where we're going, what we're gonna see and all that. And it worked out beautifully. We literally did everything on our list. We were there for about a week and the first day, um, we landed in San Diego and the hotel we stayed in was the San Diego Marriott La Jolla. That was just like the day we landed and then we just, it was like already very late so we just went straight to sleep. But the next morning was a beach day. I wrote beach day for every beach day that we had because um, I wanted to dress accordingly. But um, we went to MCRD, which is the Marine Corps base in San Diego, which is where my husband, he, he was a Marine and he did his boot camp training there. So we wanted to go see it, but unfortunately they weren't um, allowing any visitors at that time because of COVID. So um, we saw it from the outside, which was, you know, as, as good as it could get <laughs> but um it was pretty cool my husband was like every time like he saw something that he recognized he was like oh my gosh I remember my friends and I used to go there oh my gosh I remember this and <sighs> so um he had a little stroll down memory lane but I was a little bummed that we didn't get to see inside but it's better to keep everyone safe next right after that we went to Balboa Park which is a very very cool um, if you like nature and stuff like that and architecture then I suggest you check that place out it was free there was no um, like parking fee or anything and we went pretty early around like 10 and we got close parking and everything so it worked out perfectly um it's a really great way to get in all your steps uh because it is like it is a park so you're walking a lot but um i just really enjoyed the architecture i love really pretty architecture and this had it all we actually also went to a museum exhibit which was for or about cannibals very interesting <laughs> um it was a lot less gruesome than I thought it would be but that was very interesting and then we also did this tour of the san diego tower i think is what it's called um but it, that was very cool you got to go up like i think seven floors and um you don't get to go all the way to the top because it was unsafe but uh we did go pretty high and we took a lot of pictures so that was fun um it was kind of like a guided tour and you just keep going up these stairs so we got to work out as well like each floor they stop and they tell you a little bit about the history of san diego and all that and different um uh, the different groups of san diego like the natives and um the african americans and all of that is actually very interesting but they only allow a maximum of six people so we signed up early thankfully because it was already maxed out um, by then by the time we went to go see so even though it wasn't we went on like a Thursday and there weren't many people but I'm glad we did that because it looked really cool from uh, the outside so I wanted to see the inside the only thing is like um, each floor that they stop in like it's like the inside of the tower and it's literally just like cement walls <laughs> there's like nothing to look at really it's just cement wall and then they have like a little easel up in the corner and then they talk about 
you know, whatever they want to talk about, um, like the history and stuff like that. But um, I wish they put like a little bit more of like an exhibit or something that you can like actually see. But um, other than that, I mean, it was really cool. We got to go up the tower. And after that, we went to the Mission Beach boardwalk, which was really cool. Um, it was very hard to find parking, but um, we did. Thankfully, we found parking everywhere we went. We got really lucky that way. We had dinner with, I can't remember what the place is called, but I think it was Cannonball or something like that. I don't know. But uh, I had sushi, very good. It was like lobster sushi or something. Very, very tasty, very expensive. It was like 35 bucks for like a long thing of sushi, but still very good. And the view was really nice as well. Let's see, we just chilled out at the beach. Um, we also saw a Scooby-Doo van, like the actual Scooby-Doo van, which is very cool. So that was Thursday. Then the next day on Friday, we drove from San Diego to LA and we saw Beverly Hills. Um, we just drove through it real quick. Uh, we saw Sunset Boulevard, Rodeo Drive. So this is where the shopping is, uh, Rodeo Drive. And um, as you can see, there are so many shops. And these aren't just like regular shops like Forever 21 or anything like that. These are all luxury shops right next to each other, all down one road. And I mean, I've never seen anything like that. I thought it was so cool. And um, it just looks so so pretty with the palm trees and everything um i don't know if you can see right there on the right those guys working out i don't know if they were trying to sell those bands what they were doing i don't know but they were really loud and grunting and they had i mean they were just super into their workout never seen anything like that either because they were just right on the sidewalk right in front of the stores and nobody batted an eye no one cared <laughs> maybe maybe it's a california thing i don't know but as you can see, I mean, it was just so beautiful. Just this one road, I mean, I just, I couldn't believe it. So yeah, I really wish that we could have stepped out and just at least walked past the stores. <laughs> but um, yeah, we were kind of on a, on a time crunch just a little bit. And I have no idea where we could have parked, you know, because I would have just wanted to take my time and see everything. Maybe next time I will have a chance to actually walk around and see all of the stores and all of that. But I mean, just seeing them from the outside itself like really impressed me. So I can't even imagine. But if you are in LA or get to visit LA, I would definitely recommend at least just walking by there. It's really, really pretty, even if you're just window shopping. But before that, we went to the Griffith Observatory. Uh, it was very cool. That also you get quite a workout walking up this like desert truck area and it was very very hot but um the actual observatory was actually very cool you learn a lot and i also like the architecture of course of the observatory and everything um it kind of taught you about the earth and the moon the sun stars planets all of that you get a really good view of the hollywood sign so we did see that that was really fun we also stayed for the uh they had like this show which we stayed for it was like this guy speaking about like the constellations and all of that and i think that was like 15 bucks or something but to go to the observatory itself is free um but you do have to pay for parking so just keep that in mind and after that we went to the grove i've heard so much of the grove it's kind of like an outdoor mall pretty much and when you go like deeper in there's like this like whole like slew of little restaurants and stuff which we saw after we ate <laughs> we we ended up eating at i think it was called magiano's and um that was actually really good okay so after the grove we went to our hotel for the night um we stayed at the kimpton everly hotel and um that hotel had the best view of hollywood ever oh my goodness my husband surprised me by getting the um room with the hollywood sign view oh my gosh I mean, it was absolutely gorgeous. I didn't even want to leave the room and see LA because 
the view was just spectacular. <laughs> it is only valet parking, which totally sucks. Uh, it was like, oh gosh, like $50 for valet parking, which is just crazy. I mean, thankfully we were only there for like two days. <laughs> because whew, that adds up. But the room was spectacular. Um, the room itself was okay, but like, the, I mean the view, the view was spectacular. I just can't get over, I think that was the highlight of the entire trip for me, that view. It was absolutely gorgeous. After that, uh, was Saturday. We went to explore LA, um, and it was just like walking distance. We just walked everywhere because first of all, valet parking, you know, was very expensive. And, um, we just decided to like walk to kind of explore the place, but also to get breakfast. The breakfast place that we went to was The Waffle. So of course, I wanted to try their waffles. So I ended up getting chocolate waffles, chocolate chip waffles. So good, you guys. Oh my goodness, it was a lot of food too. And um, my husband got the French toast. Super, super good. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I think it was in San Diego, we went to another breakfast place that breakfast place was the best breakfast place that we went to like for the entire trip um, again i will put that information up but um yes the waffle was really good too though uh we got a seat inside and it was it looked just like a little diner very cute so after breakfast we just continued to walk to downtown hollywood and we saw like all of the um what's it called the star walk or whatever the celebrity star walkway whatever it's called, I don't know the name. And we saw the Chinese theater, which was really, really cool. And all of the celebrity, you know how they do like the cement thing with their, like they put their hands in their, their footprints in the cement and sign their name and all that. We saw that, we even saw the Avengers one. That was really, really cool. And I saw like all of my favorites, Marilyn Monroe, Jackie Chan, everyone was there. So that was actually really, really fun. We definitely burned off all of our breakfast because that was quite a walk and it was extremely hot. After that, we decided to go to Echo Park. We did the little swan paddle boats. <laughs> that was, I, I didn't really want to do it, but my husband really wanted to do it because that's like the main thing that you do in Echo Park. And um, it was pretty fun. The view was great. It's just like a little, I mean, it looks a lot larger online, but um, the view is very, very, very pretty. I'm obsessed with palm trees and there were so many palm trees there. I mean, in California in general, really enjoyed it. Then after that, we went to the Santa Monica Pier, which was really cool. We had actually been there before and we didn't realize, um, but yeah, we had walked there and uh, it just has like a bunch of restaurants and little shops and stuff like that. We literally just walked right through and right back because um, it was very, very crowded again, especially since it was a Saturday. We didn't stop and look at the beach or anything because we did that last time, but also because right after that, we decided to go to Venice Beach because again, we've always heard about Venice Beach and we wanted to check it out. The thing about California beaches though, <laughs> is that the water is very, very cold. It's ice cold, especially when you're like blazing hot from the sun shining down on you and then you go and walk into this ice cold water. We couldn't really swim in the water. I, we saw a lot of people doing it and I don't know how, but my feet were frozen and I was like thawing out back on like the sand because it was just too cold. So um, we just sat on Venice Beach and enjoyed you know the ocean and just the look of it and we literally just dipped our toe in all the beaches and that was it <laughs> we, ne we never swam in the ocean because it was just too cold and then for dinner we had mercado it was mexican food um it's actually pretty good uh i think my husband had the carnitas and I had, I think, fajitas or something. Very tasty. Oh, he also had the margarita, which he really enjoyed. Then for dessert, we went to the Wonderlust Creamery, which I actually heard about them from BuzzFeed. <laughs> and ever since then, I was like, okay, I need to try Wonderlust Creamery. And it was so good, you guys. Um, we wished we had gotten a little bit more <laughs> because it was so tasty. They had a whole variety of ice creams and each ice cream is kind of inspired from like their world 
travels or whatever so i thought that was really cool um i think we ended up getting uh, vietnamese rocky road uh let's see kinder which is like nutella and ube i think the ube flavor which was really good i think that was my favorite one um really really tasty and, and i really like the color of the ube <laughs> Uh, it's like this really nice purple color. And so, yes, we went to Wanderlust Creamery. After that, we went back to our Kimpton Everly Hotel, enjoyed the Hollywood sign scenery at night, which is really, really beautiful as well. One thing I forgot, um, the Kimpton Hotel also had like this little key and you can turn that key in to the bar and they will give you a free drink. The drink was not good. It did not taste good, but uh, you know, it's a free little drink. So I thought that was cool. The next day was Sunday, and that was the day we were going to drive from LA to Santa Barbara. We drove to Calabasas. <laughs> um, we were trying to see if there were any celebrities out there, but we did not see a single celebrity. We ended up having breakfast in Calabasas, and the place where we ate was actually pretty good. My husband had like this big omelet, which he really liked. We had the French toast again. My husband loves French toast. So we, we pretty much always got French toast wherever we went. And then I got the Eggs Benedict. Uh, I was like on an Eggs Benedict kick. Like every single day almost I had Eggs Benedict with their little country potatoes. Very tasty. French toast wasn't that great though, but the, everything else was really good. And we also had a vanilla latte. Oh, we saw the Hidden Hills from afar as well. That's like where all the celebrities <laughs> stay, um, the Hidden Hills. But And I saw like the entryway like arch where it says Hidden Hills, but I, it was too fast to take a picture. But at least I saw it, you know? Yes, we saw the Malibu Point Doom. Then we went to the Santa Barbara Ledbetter Beach Park. Um, that was really cool. Again, we just dipped our toes and, <laughs> and then we sat and enjoyed the beach and then we went to the Santa Barbara downtown and ended up having dinner there let's see we went to the Opal restaurant oh yeah I remember this restaurant so <laughs> there were literally like two people at that restaurant eating at the time and he was the guy that we were trying to like talk to he was just like you guys are gonna have to wait because I'm just gonna I'm gonna have a huge flood of people with reservations coming in and then like we ate we finally did get fit into his little schedule or whatever, and we ate and everything, and there was no one, <laughs> so I don't I don't know, but the food was good. Um, we had a passion fruit margarita, then we had a prosciutto and goat cheese pizza, and I had the chipotle pasta, all very good. I guess that guy was just like really stressed out. I don't know, but. I mean, it wasn't crowded when we ate, and even after we ate, so. And then for dessert, we walked down, it's like this whole little road, and all along that road, there's like a bunch of shops and restaurants, and um, we walked down to Mitchell's Ice Cream, which was like the highest rated there. There was a huge line, so we were like, we saw that as a good sign, you know, if so many people were waiting for that ice cream. Uh, the ice cream is really good, I did get, I think, two or three flavors so that we could try it all <laughs> and um the first two were really good the last one which was the one i was most excited about it was like cold cream something or other i don't know but that turned out to be the worst one it was like too sweet which i never complain about anything being too sweet but this was like extremely sweet but the other like i think it was like coffee flavored ice creams were really good so the hotel that we stayed in was the hampton inn and suites santa maria and so we rested for the day and the next day was a monday and that was the day that we were going to leave santa maria to san francisco we went to the santa cruz beach so <laughs> we went to the santa cruz beach because it had like the highest rating for a beach even higher than all the other beaches that we went to i think it was like a 4.9 rating or something like that i don't know why it has such a high rating but um and i was excited because this would be like the last beach day of our trip that beach was it was very very smelly very like it smelled like I don't know, a sewage system, pretty much. And there were so many sand flies. I, I couldn't believe it. And I still don't understand how it had such a high rating. Maybe there's like a 
hidden part of the beach that's really nice. I don't know, but that beach, uh, I, if you're gonna go to that beach, don't <laughs> go to go to any other beach because um, that beach was pretty smelly, and we literally walked there and walked back. It was oh my gosh, like to find parking too was crazy. It was hard to find parking. We finally found parking, and then. We walked down and we we're just like, what? Where? What? And then there's there was like also a pier like up there, uh, and we were going to have dinner there, but like it smelled so bad over there that we were just like, yeah, let's let's just go. So um, just a heads up. Uh, again, if you're from there, please, I'm I'm not trying to diss you guys. Just uh, just you know, I think I feel like Venice Beach and the other beaches that we went to didn't have that smell unless we went like during a certain time of the day. So since we left the beach so quickly, <laughs> um, we had time to go to the, uh, what is it? Oh, Silicon Valley. Uh, and um, we saw the Apple, they had like a big Apple store there and like right next to it is like the big donut looking Apple building. <laughs> we weren't allowed to go see that building, but we did go into the Apple store and like you can go upstairs and it has a pretty cool little loft area and you can just see a little bit of that building from that view. So we finally reached San Francisco and <laughs> as we were driving, I was like so mesmerized by all of the architecture, like in the downtown San Francisco area. And I saw this place called the palace and I was like, oh my gosh, the palace, oh my gosh, we have to walk by there at least. That looks so cool. And then that was the hotel that we were staying in. My husband was just like looking at me the whole time because I it, I guess he had told me earlier, but I just saw the word palace and I freaked out. <laughs> so we ended up staying at the Palace Hotel and that that hotel is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous, but it is again, only valet parking and this valet parking is $75, so thankfully we were there for just one day, I think, but oh my gosh. <laughs> the um, hotel, though, was gorgeous for sure. We finally reached the Palace Hotel. We rested. Next day it was Tuesday, and um, technically our last day to really explore and stuff like that, so we explored San Francisco. We went and saw the Painted Ladies, which are just like a couple of houses on the street and they're like painted really fun colors. And so that was really cool. And we also saw Chinatown and actually got some goodies from there, um, which I will share with you guys. We saw the famous Lombard Street, which is so interesting. Um, I wanted to walk down the entire street, but it is like at a like a slant like this, like you will definitely get your workout in. So uh, we walked a little way, you know, down, a little ways down, but then we drove down the rest of the way and that street is so cool. <laughs> but um, driving in San Francisco is, um, it's very interesting. The hills, I mean, it's just like up, down, up, down, like every street, it's crazy. So that day for dinner, we ended up having Indian food. We were trying to like do different cuisines each day. Like one day was Mexican, one day was Italian. So this day we wanted Indian food. My husband really wanted Indian food. So we went to this restaurant called Tadka uh, Indian restaurant, pizza, sports bar is what it says. And um, it's this tiny little restaurant, but the food was really good and very hot. <laughs> we decided to just like drive to like the nearest parking lot and we just ate it like fresh and it was extremely hot. Oh my gosh, but uh, it was very good. I got the butter chicken and my husband got, I think, the biryani, I don't know, biryani or fried rice or something. And it was very good. And I got the butter chicken with the garlic naan. Always, always garlic naan. And then that night, so we got into the hotel and um, I thought we were just gonna call it a day and just go to bed early. But my husband was like, I came to California and I have not gotten to swim in a single beach. So we are going to go to the, the swimming pool in the hotel and we are going to swim. I want my swim trunks to get into the water and just like, I just want to swim and and feel the water around me. And, <laughs> and I was like, okay, he, he was just like going off on a tangent. And I was like, okay, we'll go to the, the swimming pool. And the swimming pool thankfully was empty when we got there. 
it was really cool. It it was like a glass roof, so you can just see, um, like right above you, like all the skyscrapers and everything. So cool. Uh, and we had the pool to ourselves, almost for like forty five minutes or something until like some kids came and they were like just jumping all up in the pool when when they weren't supposed to. <sighs> I was like, <laughs> it was so funny because I was totally zoned out. I was um, floating on my back and so I couldn't really hear anything. And then like this kid cannonballs next to me and I was just like, <sighs> like almost drowned, but that's okay, you know. That was actually really fun um, that we had the pool to ourselves for that those uh, wonderful 45 minutes. <laughs> like all the details of that hotel though were so beautiful. I even liked the elevator doors. It was like this beautiful gold and just everything about it. I really liked it. The, um, I think it was like their breakfast area. We didn't have breakfast there, but uh, they had like a sitting area and breakfast area. So gorgeous. Oh man. Um, we also saw this like uh, tower thing this observatory tower thing and like you can um have uh we did like the tour or whatever and you can go up the the tower and you can see alcatraz the prison which is pretty crazy it was like literally right there and i was i did not know that prison was like literally just just right there right next to san francisco you know and um so that was really cool uh, and you get a really great view of san francisco and then after that we saw the golden gate bridge which was so cool um i mean i've seen it in movies and you know in shows and stuff like that and oh my gosh that thing is huge and it was freezing cold <laughs> we were not expecting it to be that cold and uh yeah i was not appropriately dressed for that weather but it was cold but it was totally worth it we walked all the way on top onto the bridge and that was super super cool um and we took a lot of pictures and the top of the bridge you can't even see because it's just so like misty and foggy but that kind of like added to like, I don't know, it kind of looked kind of spooky, but kind of magical at the same time. I really, really liked it. And after that, we went to the Palace of Fine Arts. If you love architecture, you have got to go see this place. It was free. Um, it's just like outside, like an outside park, but there's this like beautiful, I mean, it literally looks like a palace. I think it was at one point. I don't even know. This place is absolutely gorgeous. I think there's a couple getting their like, engagement photos or something done there and it was like the perfect place oh my gosh this the architecture is just oh, chef's kiss absolutely just beautiful uh, i mean i i'm speechless that's how beautiful it was and we just like walked all the way around saw all of the architecture gorgeous <laughs> and then there was this guy that was uh there um, uh, just like smack dab right there in the park. And he, I guess he was doing maybe yoga. I don't know, but he was like uh, wearing almost the nothing. Almost. He was just barely covering his uh, important parts. And, um, so just beware. There's a lot of very interesting characters out there. So, um, not just in California, but like in the world. So just, you know, just be careful if you're going there with your kids. <laughs> but, um, that was uh, very, very interesting. I think I have a video of that because I was literally like, I'd never seen anything like that. Like he, I mean, but uh, he was very confident. So I wish I had his confidence. <laughs> so that was very interesting, you know, cause you see this beautiful architecture and then like, we're literally about to leave and we see this and we're like, okay. <sighs> and the thing is like, you have to walk past him to get to where you parked. So it's like, you, you literally couldn't miss him. Anyways, okay, so um, Wednesday was uh, the day we were going to leave, but we had a little bit of time. So again, I mean, my husband wants to make the most of every single moment. <laughs> so we actually saw, I think um, San Francisco has like a little Italy, a little Japan and like Chinatown. They have like a little everything, you know, a little bit of everything. So we saw little Japan and they have like this, um, tower like thing really cool looking um, so we just like quickly like literally ran to take a picture with this thing and then ran back to our car <laughs> we went through I think the San Francisco airport 
and that is actually a really cool air airport again they have like so much art and like these they had these like tree sculptures from like hanging from the ceiling which was really cool um i had never been there before so i thought that was really nice and um oh yeah we had starboard chicken never tried that before it was very good <laughs> right before we got on to the plane we did have food on the plane but the uh, food wasn't that great it was like this mozzarella sandwich or something I, I could have done without so i'm glad we had starboard before we got on the plane but there ha they had this brookie bar by sweet sophia's bakery oh my gosh that was so delicious it was literally like a cross between a cookie and you know those cosmo brownies um like the little debbie cosmo brownies oh, so delicious um, overall it was a very nice trip. I liked it. We had a lot of walking, but it was totally worth it. Loved every minute. It was super cool. We literally saw all of California. We started at one end and then we like drove our way back up and that was really cool. And so on to the souvenirs. Pretty much each place that we go to, uh, we get a magnet um just so that you know it's pretty small and it reminds us of our trip um especially ones that have like the picture of each like main attraction of that area so this one is santa barbara i'll just give you a close up here that's santa barbara this one is hollywood so as you can see it has like the chinese theater and the hollywood sign and everything so it's just something to remind us of our trip. You know, every time I open my fridge, I'm reminded. This is San Diego, Los Angeles. And then this one's really cool. This one is San Francisco. And I liked this one the best because it had the um, Lombard Street, which we went and saw. We actually did see a, uh, a cable car, which was really cool. It wasn't like the traditional red, which I really wanted to see, but we did nonetheless see one and then the san francisco bridge this one we actually got from the airport and it is the golden gate bridge it says city by the bay san francisco so just a little replica when we were at the grove i actually ended up getting a perfume each place i visit i like to use a specific perfume for that place just so it'll like remind me of that place like kind of creates a scent memory and um, all of the previous times that I went to California I always wore um, Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana and oh, like I smell it and I think of California it's so crazy how scents work I just have like a couple drops left and I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna run out and I won't have enough for this trip and thankfully when we were at the Grove we saw Sephora and I got another one so and this was the last one there too so that was it was like meant to be so i got a brand new one already made a big dent in that one because i literally used it for my entire trip so oh man it smells so good too it's like very light and florally but also kind of beachy so i'm really glad i was able to get another one and from the grove you know it's a little souvenir from the Grove. <laughs> and then in Chinatown, I had always, ever since I saw Wendy Wu, you know, you know what I'm talking about on Disney Channel? They had mooncakes. Ever since I saw the way that they were eating those mooncakes, I had been wanting a mooncake. And it's been, I don't even know, 15 years <laughs> that I had been like craving a mooncake. <sighs> and I finally went to Chinatown in San Francisco and got mooncakes so the first one was from the eastern bakery i think is what it's called and it had the highest ratings and so we got two of them um we already ate one <laughs> and it was so good this one has both of them actually had lotus paste so delicious if you've never tried a mooncake you're missing out very they're very dense and very filling but super delicious and then this one by the palace hotel there was this little japanese bakery and they actually sold a lot of um these mooncakes and some other treats that uh i think we got we got chocolate mochi and then we also got 
something else with like red bean paste. I've always wanted to try what this red bean paste tasted like. It was like these two pancakes with red bean paste inside and both like the mochi and that was really good. And then we got the moon cake, which this one has, I think, hazelnut filling. So I'm really excited to try this. I haven't tried this yet. And just the packaging on these things, I mean, so gorgeous. I am all about like, I'm a very visual person and <laughs> all about packaging and just like the intricate details on just the moon cake alone and this packaging. Oh my gosh. So, so beautiful. It was all pretty pricey, all just um, just a heads up. But uh, man, I wish I could go back and get more because I loved it all. <laughs> but I will be doing a little taste test mukbang kind of thing. Uh, like I'm gonna have that video up soon and I will give you a review. I'll taste both of these. I've already tasted this, but I'll give you a review on both of these as well as some other fall treats that I got. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But other than that, that is it for my California trip. If you guys want more um, details or a list or something um, of a specific city or something that we went to in California, let me know and I will give you my little list of places that we went to um, in case you're planning you know, a little getaway to California. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.